It's a phrase everyone recognizes. That was a disaster waiting to happen. Usually it's true. There were signs that something was wrong, but no one did anything about them. They saw them, but didn't report them. And then, disaster struck. Out at sea, or in harbor, the maritime environment is full of potential dangers, and the industry sees a serious incident somewhere every day. That's why recognizing weak signals, the small things that just don't look, smell, or sound right, is so important. Weak signals are seemingly random or disconnected pieces of information that may appear in the background, an unexpected sound or vibration, or just an unscheduled maintenance request. All of these are weak signals, and often they will turn out to be nothing. But sometimes, they may be the first signs that something is about to go seriously wrong. Recognizing weak signals is a key part of being chronically uneasy. Sounds nasty, but it's not. It's a way of thinking about the world around you to avoid getting complacent about safety. Chronic unease helps you notice those weak signals and overcome your natural instinct to think that because everything is usually okay, then it's still okay. The point is, it might not be. Chronic unease makes you curious about anything that's even just a little bit off or strange or unusual and report it. It is a major part of our approach to reaching a zero incident industry. We're working on achieving it. And recently the frequency of incidents has been going down steadily. People are reacting to weak signals. They are practicing chronic unease, but we need to get better at it. For instance, a recent engine room fire started because weak signals were missed. The vibrations on a ship can slowly loosen fittings including nose on a fuel line. In this case, some lagging protecting hot surfaces was missing. It had been that way a long time, and everyone had ceased to notice it. The missing lagging was a weak signal, but no one reported it. And then, when the fuel inlet fitting parted, diesel sprayed out and started a fire when it made contact with the hot pipe. It was a disaster waiting to happen. A weak signal that led directly to a high-impact incident. The marine industry is moving towards a new future, where data can help us dramatically improve our safety. Shipping is now, for the first time, developing a predictive modeling tool called HILO that uses data from weak signals to help predict serious incidents. HILO relies on collecting data about weak signals. The more data it receives, the more accurate the predictions become. It's a potentially life-saving use of technology, but people are always the front line. It's how you deal with weak signals that counts. We're surrounded by weak signals. Many won't lead to an incident, but some might. So you need to be curious and alert. Is that a potential hazard? Has someone else already reported it? We should always report weak signals and potential hazards. Don't be afraid that it may turn out to be nothing. Acting on weak signals is an investment in future safety. Because you reported it, others will report weak signals too. And soon enough, an incident that's waiting to happen will be prevented. That's what should have happened on a tanker on the high seas not so long ago. A routine lifeboat drill. The captain sounds the alarm and the crew musters, ready to carry out an abandoned ship drill. As usual, a lifeboat release is tested. The lifeboat is swung out on the davits and lowered three or four meters to check everything is working. The crew had completed this drill many, many times without incident. But on this occasion, the descent was jerky, and the lifeboat shuddered to a halt. Several people noticed it, including a junior officer, who thought to himself, someone should look at the gravity brake, just in case. It wouldn't take long. Meanwhile, across the world, a VIP visitor was on a service boat being transferred to an LNG carrier. Earlier in the day, He'd hurt his back in the gym and taken some medication to ease the pain. 
The crew on the service boat had completed their pre-departure checklist and confirmed with the visitor that he was physically able to climb the ladder to get aboard the LNG carrier, even though his back was clearly troubling him. It was a blustery day, with a one and a half metre swell and four six winds forecast. Because planned engine maintenance was underway, the main engines were not available, so the LNG carrier couldn't manoeuvre to create a lee for the service boat as it came alongside. The launch helmsman suggested returning tomorrow when the weather was forecast to improve, but the officer of the watch on the LNG carrier said he'd seen worse, and the VIP claimed he'd boarded many ships in equally rough conditions. Even though the launch was struggling to stay alongside, everyone assumed all would be okay. Weak signals count at sea. Working in a tight, busy environment, there are a lot of signals, some strong, most weak. Being sensitive to those weak signals is a key part of chronic unease. Be curious. If that sound is unusual, might it be a machine part failing? And if that machine part fails, could someone get hurt? Can you smell something? Fuel or oil or a chemical? 99 times out of 100, it will have a simple explanation and won't lead to an incident. But that one time when it does, someone could get hurt. You could get hurt. So when you come across a weak signal, try and find out what's causing it and report it. A culture that encourages those signals to be reported and acted upon is an important element in our journey to a zero incident industry. If that officer who noticed the faulty brake mechanism during the boat drill had said something straight away, the incident would have been avoided. And there were a series of weak signals that were missed during the VIP's visit to the LNG carrier that left the visitor in danger of drowning. And if someone, anyone, had pointed out that some lagging was missing, then the fire would not have happened. If you report a weak signal, and it turns out to be nothing, you're still contributing to the safety of your colleagues aboard your ship and across the shipping and maritime community. It all depends on that culture of chronic unease and reporting weak signals. Think differently about weak signals and you will take a big step towards zero incidents on every voyage. Back on our tanker, two weeks later, and another drill. The crew went to their muster stations in a well-practiced routine. The lifeboat was test launched again, but this time the gravity brake failed completely, and a lifeboat weighing over two tons went into free fall, dropping 30 meters into the sea. The operator tried to apply the dead man brake, repeatedly pushing down on the handle without success. With the ship traveling at 16 knots, the main fall wires connecting it to the davit and the remote control wire were too heavily loaded, and they snapped. The operator found himself in the line of fire and was seriously injured by the control wire as it recoiled. The vessel then had to divert for an emergency medevac to get the operator ashore for urgent treatment. Meanwhile, at the LNG carrier, the VIP stepped onto the pilot ladder, and moments later, a large swell lifted the ladder and he lost his footing and fell into the water. Everyone reacted quickly and the VIP was rescued without serious injury. But it could have been worse, much worse. Both stories feature weak signals and highlight the need for strong barriers, just like the ones in the bow tie model we may be familiar with. Each and every barrier has to be strong to ensure that an incident doesn't happen. Each weak signal tells a story about a barrier, and your chronic unease is one of the vital barriers. You need to take action when you identify a weak signal.